Hey everybody, how's it going out there in YouTube land and out there at Metro Detroit off-market real estate group. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of getting set up real quick because, uh, here we go. All right. So today we have a special, special occasion, uh, special, uh, guest, Michael Hassel. And he is awesome guy, awesome flipper. Like, you know, I've had the, the pleasure of actually meeting him when I'm out there networking. Um, so I really want to say thank you for him coming on. Um, but to get, to get things started, you are, this is Real Estate Talk with Randy Steadwell. We are here on YouTube. We are also here on uh, Metro Detroit Off Market Real Estate Group, okay, on Facebook. So come watch us there. If you have not subscribed on YouTube, watch us on YouTube and hit a subscribe, like, all that good stuff. So with any further ado, I'm gonna have uh, Michael Hasso is come bring him on and then if you have any questions during this whole thing ask him in the comments put them down in the comments we will uh, we'll answer them as we go and go from there so uh, we bring it Michael how's it going or is it Mike or Michael uh, Michael Michael all right so Michael how's it how are you doing today? Everything, everything good? Doing well, doing well. Yeah, awesome. just staying busy. Lots of flips <laughs> going right now and stuff. So, see that—that's what I like to hear. Was, was, yeah, you know, we, we want to. And, and at some point, I don't know if you feel comfortable with breaking down a deal or anything like that. That's up to you. Um, but I think I think some people would like to, whether it be a past deal. That, that yeah. you no longer do anything like this. So, um, yeah. and I, it could be uh, one of the most frustrating deals, or it could end, or the most profitable, whichever you prefer, or both. Yeah. So I've actually got two things for for everyone watching today. One is going to be my worst deal ever. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> and then the second one will be actually a deal that I have that I'm looking to find a buyer for. Oh. So. Awesome. So, all right. So let's get this started with, you know, first off, who are you? What do you do? And, you know, let, let's talk about you for a little bit before we get into how you became real, got in real estate. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm originally from like Northern Michigan, um, Pinconning area. It's a small town, just North okay. of Bay City. Um, gotcha. <clears throat> and so I, I, I grew up on a farm, stuff like that. And part of my background that, I mean, it kind of relates to real estate in a way, but like, okay. I'll, I'll say for my parents, um, they had some rentals and stuff like that, but it was more of like, I'll say they were, they were more like accidental landlords. Okay. Like it, houses that, um, you know, Maybe it was like a family member that passed or it was uh, yeah, you know, a house that they saw a crazy deal on or whatever, you know, those yeah. sorts of things. So it was, it was more like um, accidental landlords as far as real estate goes. Um, but it, it definitely set the groundwork, I'll say, years before. So that's, that's awesome. So you know they your parents inherited property you said and that's how they became landlords kind of like accidental uh, yeah. so um so my dad is well he just recently retired from farming uh, ah. and so what has happened um at times there's you know pieces of property where sometimes there's a house attached or or, or whatever or it's own all the farmland around and there's one house there you know so for various reasons they they ended up picking up some you know residential real estate and stuff like that okay so so yeah that, yeah, that was like their main thing um like for okay. me that's 
that's my full-time job right now is flipping houses and so that's um, awesome yeah. so so that's why we should be listening because you're in the trenches you're doing it and you know you're you're out here making all the mistakes and here to tell us about it so we don't make them right yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah all right so um you know tell that's me a little bit my work steal that i'm gonna yeah. talk about. exactly <laughs> Because you always exactly. learn more from the worst deals than the best deals. Like, no one, is, no one really wants to go on here and hear about like, oh, the best deal ever. That you know, it was so easy, and I made you know whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> first off, I, I don't think any deal has been easy, but you know, I have learned that's... more. I've learned more than uh, more from any from all my. I've learned at least one thing from all my deals. Even the one that went the smoothest, I also learned not, not to expect that. <laughs> so, but for the most part, you know, you have to learn something from every deal, no matter what. So, yeah. yeah. So tell me a little bit about, before we get into your worst deal, um, Tell me a little bit about, you know, your past and how you got into real estate. Did you just wake up one day and be like, I want to start flipping houses? Uh, no, it, it was a much longer journey than that. I would say the first thing that kind of really piqued my interest around real estate investing in particular was the classic answer, rich dad, poor dad. Um, yep. I read, I read that when I was like end of high school, early college, yeah. something like that. Um, and I just found it fascinating. Like, I mean, I knew from a pretty young age that I wanted to be in business, that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, I didn't realize it was going to be real estate. Um, gotcha. but that definitely attracted me to it and helped me to see a whole nother side of it. And I think especially like, um, just the scalability and how the wealthy use their money and use. Um, real estate as a vehicle to grow their wealth, grow their income. I mean, I think that was huge for me, but from the time I read it to the time um, I actually started real estate in investing, it was, I don't know, maybe 10 years or so. Um, because I, okay. I, actually, it, I actually didn't know anyone that was doing real estate at a high level. Okay. Basically, everyone I knew growing up, because my, my parents had lots of friends that, you know, owned one or two rentals, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. um, which is good. Yeah. But, you know, certainly not something that you can live off or become like, you know, really wealthy if you just having two yeah. or three, <laughs> you know. You're, so, you're not going to get, you're not going to get rich off of one or two rentals. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't care where you are what you're doing you're not going to get rich off one or two rentals so yeah unless it's a massive multi-family <laughs> or two and, and, you know, and even like, then you're not going to get rich you'll just be able to live off of it you know yep yeah so. exactly so that was like i think that was like the big um the big turning point for me in reading that yep. book kind of like sowed the seed for later Okay. is that I realized, oh, this can be done at a much higher level. Yeah. And so somewhere in between there, um, my investing journey actually started with stock investing. Um, okay. Which is probably unusual. I haven't really heard any other real estate investor that said that. <laughs> personally. Well, technically, I kind of did that. I started okay. with stocks before I got into real estate. Okay. So now yeah. I lost a lot of money in stocks and then got into real estate. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, for me, so I got, I got started investing in stocks and I, I was just, I was just inv interested in investing in general. How do I grow my yeah. money? How do I multiply it? How do I, um, buy back my freedom, you know? Yeah. Yes. And so like, um, I did I did pretty well with stock investing and I it's something I still enjoy. But one of the things that um, 
was key for me in making my decision to pursue real estate was one, I was listening to, you know, like some of the best, uh, some of the best stack investors that I knew, you know, just kind of like how people follow like Warren Buffett or, you know, yeah. stuff like that, high level investors. And they were all saying how like, well, yeah, I do stacks, but like I invest in real estate. Like mm -hmm. I do stacks, but I have apartment buildings or, you know, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, interesting. So all these like top notch um, stack investors, they're all also in real estate. And I was like, yep. but they're doing really well in the stack market. So why would they be in real estate? So it, it, it like got me thinking and I actually saw this very interesting article um, where it had like the average returns over like 150 years comparing okay. real estate to stocks. Okay. 150 year average. Guess what? Real estate won. 100%. Yes. Yeah. Real estate averaged, I think, one or 2% more over that time on average, which yeah. means like, you know, if you ever look at any of those graphs that like, uh, you know, financial <laughs> advisor, 401k, whatever that they show. Yeah. But like, if you, if you compare those returns and you adjust it by 1% up or down over the long haul, that, that can make the difference of millions, you yeah. know? So anyway, all, all of these things were kind of going through my mind. So I was just like really interested in investing and real estate was kind of like the next step. It was kind of uncharted territory for me. Um, okay. and it was, I was really, really interested. So I started, you know, sort of looking for, for opportunities as far as like, okay, well, where do I start? Like, I don't, I didn't like, I, I had never heard of wholesaling. Gotcha. Basically, okay. the only thing that I really knew of in real estate was um, either landlord for like single family or flipping, yeah. but I didn't know anyone that was flipping. I knew some people that had single family, but it wasn't like scaled by any means. Yeah. And I didn't know anyone that had any large multifamily. So I had a, like almost no connection really to real estate. <laughs> right. Um, so that was an interesting journey in itself. And so, but anyway, so my, my wife and I though, both had a desire to pursue real estate. Her, um, her parents as well, like kind of dabbling in the small multifamily and stuff like that. Yep. And, and so anywhere, anyway, some, somewhere along the way, um, we ended up attending a real estate seminar, um, ended up basically how we got into real estate was, um, through the rich dad education company. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, you know, we, we went through that and honestly it was, um, it was just great. Like we, we learned a lot in a very short period of time. So, um, so at the rich dad, um, you know, education community that now, right now I know like he made a whole business out of that book. And yep. his whole series, like he made a huge, he still does it today. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki as a, a the, the rich dad podcast, um, yep. you know, so he's, he's constantly out there and I have a small little YouTube channel, but if for some reason he's watching, I, I'd love to have you on here, Robert, Robert Kiyosaki. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It changed your life. So that, that book and, and his education really changed your life. Yeah. Cause like, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different pathways that people take into real estate, but I like, I don't necessarily think this is the right path for everyone, but for me, yep. it's worked out pretty well just because like I said, I didn't have any connection. I didn't have right. any connection to real estate. I literally had no idea what wholesaling was. And now I like run into people that are at their first like real estate meetup or whatever. And they're like, oh yeah, I've wanted to wholesale for years. And I'm like, how have you even heard of wholesale? <laughs> Cause that, it was just like so far removed from, yeah. from my experience. Cause I didn't have any connections. 
Yeah, so if I had known about wholesaling, I would have gotten to real estate a long time ago. And I was like you, I read Rich Dad, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, when, you know, just got out of high school and so on and so forth. And I'm like, I thought I needed a bunch of money in order to get into real estate. And so I was, you know, obviously working the grind and doing all that. And yep. then it wasn't until after COVID, once COVID hit and everything, I started learning about, I, I started actually just before that, and I started to try to figure out like, what can I do to get into, start doing flips?